Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we have a new version of Brave Browser, version 1.80, which rolled out late yesterday in my part of the world. So to check we have the latest release, we head to our menu, help about Brave. Version and build is sitting on version 1.80.113 of the browser and the Chromium platform, version 138.0.724.49. Now, just to focus on the Chromium security fixes for this week and with this release, it includes 11 security fixes. And the good news is there are no zero days that have been exploited. There's no critical vulnerabilities and there's no high impact or high severity vulnerabilities that have needed to be patched. We get one medium and 10 lows. So 11 security fixes in total that have rolled out with this release. Now, focusing on what's new and what's been fixed in the actual browser. First of all, once again, and as always, the wallet, Web3, has received improvements, a crash fix and a bug fix. And if you are using Leo, the AI chatbot, just going to mention a couple of improvements. They've added support for automatic default model, added loading spinner to display when uploading image attachments, improved the image attachment UI, and fixed attachment thumbnail image not being displayed correctly. So clearly there were a couple of issues with attachments and uploading files in the chatbot. And then, and Brave has also added a dark theme, an updated dark mode color theme for rewards user interface, which I actually think is a nice move in the right direction that looks a lot better, just to match your actual theme and mode. And then, Focusing on the general improvements and fixes. I'm going to mention the first. First of all, Brave has added the ability to open progressive web apps, PWAs, in a tabbed window. And Brave has updated the extension import to warn you to close Chrome if opened during an import attempt. And Brave has also updated the buttons on interstitial pages to use the Brave theme. Now that's quite a mouthful, but basically these are the buttons which are currently more looking like Google Chrome's, more material U and rounded. And this is what Brave wants its buttons to look like, more taking on a more rectangular shape with a slightly rounded corners on those edges. And then they've removed the password checkbox from Brave Settings Import Data Dialog when importing from Chrome. So quite a bit going on here with imports in this update. They fixed a crash which occurred when moving a tab across monitors. So that's an important fix. And if we head into our settings system, shortcuts, Brave says it fixed the display of long keyboard shortcuts on the actual shortcuts page we're looking at currently. And there's a fix for toggle vertical tabs expanded keyboard shortcut that was not working. So guys, that's more or less what's new in this latest update, version 1.80. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.